a lot of people don't realize how oxygen really works with a mitochondria. And it's amazing to me, some of the people, in fact, that you mentioned that you already had on your show, some of those people don't know what I just told you. But yet, they're very smart people. And they know a lot of different things. But because they don't know all the details, they have the false belief that food and exercise can change everything. And it turns out that's not true because the way the whole system works, the, the whole programming of the system is based on the fourth book on the shelf behind your left shoulder. And that's called Health and Light by John Ott. Why? Because if you don't understand light and how light controls the levers in your body, you will never, ever, ever understand what's in the biochemistry book that all first year medical students have to learn. And it turns out that's exactly what happened to me. I never learned. Hmm. I never learned that cytochrome one was a fluorophore protein that absorbed 340 nanometer light. I never learned that cytochrome two absorbed more blue light because of the uh, type of uh, chromophore that was present there. It's a flavin nucleotide. So that was there. Then I had no idea that cytochrome three and cytochrome four had red light chromophores in it. Couldn't figure out why the hell that was the case. Hmm. And then after going down this rabbit hole with Sharma and the papers, I saw the Pink Floyd album cover and I saw the seven colors of the spectrum. And I was like, son of a bitch. That, the answer is actually right in front of my mm -hmm. face. I started to realize there is color coding inside the mitochondrial um, membrane and it's staring us right in the face. And then when you go further down the rabbit hole, and this book you don't have behind you, at least I can't see it, Roland Van Wyck from mm -hmm. Europe wrote a book about light sculpting okay, life, yeah. about biophotons. Mm -hmm. and then I found out that every single cell on this planet releases uh, extreme uh, low frequency or ultra weak biophoton release. And I was like stunned. I'm like, wait, you got to be kidding me. Every single cell releases this. How did I not learn this ever in medical school? Mm -hmm. And when I read the book, I realized that this story went back almost 120 years. So this isn't like new science. Mm -hmm. This is science that we were never taught. Yeah. And there had to be a reason behind it. And that reason actually goes back to um, Big Pharma. In other mm -hmm. words, we just want doctors to know how to help heal people through a prescription pad. And it turns out that the prescription pad is really good for a lot of things, but it's really good for big pharma. And it's really good for people to keep you in a paradigm, to enslave you. Mm -hmm. um, it's mm -hmm. not good for you to realize that you may need to not do that. Learn a little bit of what we're talking about today so that you can see for yourself that maybe there's a different way to go about this so that you don't, you can rely on yourself, your ability to think um, and do some of these things and see if you can reverse one or some of the diseases that you have. Um, and to me, that was wildly and powerful because when I was sick as a physician, I went to my profession to try to help me lose weight. And I got told what every other patient gets told, stop eating so much, exercise more. I did what the doctors told me and I gained 30 more pounds. Mm. 